Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday, Simple Night. Uh, I hope that you're ready to do some layout with me. I got so excited this afternoon when I was working on this that I can't wait. I kept thinking of all these incredible things that my Cricut could do for me and that my stamps would do. And I'm thinking, well, you can't do all of that in a Facebook Live. So tell me when you're here. Let me know that we're ready to get going. Um, and I really, really hope that if you like simples as much as I do and you really want to get your scrapbook going with your Cricut, then you're going to want to make sure that you are in this month's class. And you can find out all of that information if you just go to caramiller.com. Clom. <laughs> caramiller.com. It's a new one. And click on classroom and you will find the class that's coming up. There's actually two things. Hey, Shannon. One is just a bundle of SVGs. They're one-page layouts, and they also come with um, a, a class to teach you how to use them. So if you're brandy new or you just want some cool ideas, there, there's that one. But then there's also one that has four different things going on in it. It's a lot of information. You'll love that one if you just need brushing up on your Cricut skills or you just kind of want to go step by step and spend a lot of time with me. And that's for four weeks. There's a one a week. It's not Facebook Live. It's in our, cla our private classroom. Pretty fun. Okay, so that's all right there. Just go to the, the new dot com. <laughs> caramiller.com and click on classroom. All right, so let me get you started. Now remember, when I do Facebook Lives and I show you an SVG, I share an SVG. So it's in, again, that same classroom, but you want to go in the free one. You want to go in 2020 free and you will find this SVG. This SVG gives you two. Now, I've started to play with it a little. Let me move my title out of the way. <clears throat> and you don't get this embellishment, you get, move the, the paper, that's what you get. The SVG that will let you cut out these two, okay? And they're a left and a right. I am using Poppy Parade because this is probably one of my favorites out of this catalog. And again, I'll probably have a new favorite tomorrow. But for right now, I'm really liking this, which is kind of a surprise because it's a little bright for me. All right, so when I looked at this and I thought, Ugh, I really like this paper, but remember, it's January in Vermont. I don't have a lot of poppies nor parades. It's kind of chilly, and if it's not snowing, it's gray. So I went back into the archives of the summer. Actually, it was the fall because it was cold, and I have some great soccer pictures of the girls, and that's what we're going to be using tonight. So these are our photos that we're going to use. Oh, there's a couple. Oh, I guess they didn't come. Or, oh, no, they're up here. They're still in the little printer. Um, I picked it because I have a Poppy Parade shirt on. Okay, so we've got some photos that we're going to work with. First things first, though, is I kind of wanted to see, all right, well, what am I going to do? I wanted my title to go in here, and I wanted it to just be simply play soccer because that just seemed to work. So a couple of ideas. I started out with our stamp set, the lined alphabet, and I just stamped, but if I just stamped on the Poppy Parade, it was kind of blah. So I stamped and heat embossed it. I used our white heat, emboss heat embossing powder. I stamped with my Versamark ink, then my heat embossing powder sprinkled. Then brought in my heat gun and did a roll up and we are good to go. So there's one idea, right? There's play and here is soccer. Now I could do these in a couple ways. I could do it like this without the white background, which I kind of like with that one because it really does pop. Then I couldn't just sit there. We had to keep going. So I brought in the Cricut. So this one goes like this, and you might have seen the preview. This one, I cut out the letters with my Cricut using a, a similar style font, 
and I kind of like that too. Oh wait, there's more. I did that, which if you look at Design Space, you can see that I sliced, so I, I created an SVG with soccer, and I'll share that with you too if you happen to have any soccer photos. Um, but this soccer is sliced out of the back shadow on this. So if you look at this super close, you'll see this is this was easy to put down because it's just the outline. I didn't have to line up the letters or anything. I had to put the center of the E back in and the center of the O. That's an option. I kind of like that. Looks a little cool. And then I have one more. And this, I probably would want the white letters. I used them over here. Um, and put the white letters down on top of the shadow. Can you see it? It's tough to see because it's it's Poppy Parade and the shadow. I could ink these and I'd get a little bit of different look, but that's those are some different title ideas that go really quick. Or this one is done with again those letters. This one was a little tricky because I had to guess where the C went because I don't have two C's. I only have one. So I had to put one in and then squeeze the next one in and that was by hand, so it's not perfect. But you know what? Soccer isn't perfect either. So I think I'm gonna go with the, this one because I kind of like that and it's different. A little bit of glue goobery here and here. It's this um, glue dot's too big and I put it down and said, it's gonna make me crazy. The glue dot was just too big. There. Okay, so my title's good. I'm not gonna put it down yet. I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna put this down. Um, until I get my pictures to make sure it's what I want. But for right now, I'm thinking I like it. All right, so we have Play Soccer. That's gonna go right there. Now I'm ready to figure out my photos. Well, clearly the one with me because that's the one that I, I picked the color of the layout to go with, is this one. Yep, this was all done with my selfie printer. So that's gonna go like that with Little Miss Sassafras. And then I have to find, the rest are all smaller. I, I would have thought this paper was too much, but I'm liking it. This circle that I did is, remember I said most of them will be designed to fit as journaling squares, but this one I did is an embellishment circle. So this is actually a four inch circle, it's much bigger. So it fits the stitched circle perfectly. And I, again, I took that, I'm using the Painted Poppy stamp set. And I took the one I told you earlier that I love. I took that one and I heat embossed that Let's zoom you in so that you can see. Let's bring you over. And I added some sequins and the seam binding. Just wrapped around it using our typical bow. This is this would go on the front of a card. Super easy, right? But it's going to go right there. I used some dimensionals and popped it all up. There's some other fun things that could go around the edge of it. There's some really great, I don't know if they have a good name, I'm calling them splotches. They look sort of like a paint splatter that I could have done in the Poppy Parade around this and it might have added some extra to it. Maybe pick up some other colors and put those in. I didn't do it because I tend to go really simple, but all right, so this picture's going down because that's where it's going and honestly, You've been seeing me post, simple equals done. Just do it. No no thinking about it, no cogitating, no wondering, oh, should I, maybe, no, just do it. It'll be okay. It can't be wrong. Um, those of you that purchased um, toolkits, they shipped today. I put them in the mail to you today. You will, when you get them, you will see, they don't look clear like this and you're gonna think, well, what happened? Did they frost while they were in the in the mail? No, remember you need to peel off. It's got a protective coating on it. So you're gonna have to peel them. And then you'll also have, if you want to use them, you'll have a label. 
and you can just snip. These labels are really cool. They come from that, um, the Brother Label Maker. I use this a lot. This one, it's the P-Touch. It's awesome. I use it a lot. Um, but it's a great way to put your labels on here, and I'm using the clear label tape. And you can just snip those and put them on. To, to get this backing off, it's great. It just folds in half, and it's split right there. Super easy to get those off. So it takes a little bit to get your kit ready, but then you're good to go. All right, so let's see what we're gonna do. These two, and I can't remember now which is which. I feel like those are four and a quarter. So they're gonna take the bigger photo over here. This one is the same, and this one, and this one. So we're gonna get Hi, Adrian. It's right on, if you go to caramiller.com, you'll see Simple SVG Store. And it's right there. If you click on that, you'll see it. Okay? All right, so I'll, I need one, two, three, four, five photos, all using the four by four. Okay, this is gonna be easy. So clearly, this is a winner. So this is gonna go right like that. Remember, the scissors come with it. Oh, Shannon, thank you. And you're just gonna hold it right against the acrylic and cut. Turn it and cut. All right, there's Miss Sassy Pants right there. When you take her to the pediatrician and the pediatrician describes her as sassy, you know you're in trouble. Um, this is Little Miss Grace. So that one's gonna go. And truthfully, I could have even made this one, I could have even used a smaller crop with this, but I have the space, so I'm gonna leave it. But you think, if you're thinking, well, gee, you know, it's not really getting rid of a lot of the photo. This particular simple lets you use bigger photos. We have lots of options, remember? I don't know, I might move these around, but I'm just going to get these figured out right now. Even this one with her, the full thing, full height, full soccer ball, I can get with a four inch. But she really does. <laughs> Grace had a play today that they wrote about the monarch butterfly coming. They, it, it came out of the cocoon in their classroom this fall. So they wrote a play about it. And then they produced it today. Grace was an egg. <laughs> um, I don't know. I like both of those. But let's go with this one. And Grace is, in, is four. Lucy's two, and Lucy was sure she was going to stay. Yay! Good, good. Glad you found it. Okay. Do, 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 do. There's that one. I don't know which other one I want now. Oh, this one, I guess. Yep. Well, maybe the two of them. I don't know. Two of Grace. I kind of like this one. And I kind of like that one. All right, we're going with this one. That's my hardest choice. What are my photos going to be? So, the layout that I showed you the other day with the girls where Lucy had um, her really fancy Easter dress on and her feet were all muddy. Yes, yeah, she truly is. And I showed the girls and they had never seen the photos because they were in my phone. We are having so much fun here as a family now that I've, I've kicked back into simple mode and doing these that they are loving it. It's just so heartwarming to sit down on the couch with the album and let them thumb through and find them. It's the best. I just did a post on, um, on the, my blog about why you want a scrapbook because honestly, it's going to be people are going to say to you, oh, that's so old-fashioned. Ew, why do you want to do that? 
when I make a card, which I love doing, when I make cards though, I only get to please one person, the person I mail it to, right? I, myself, but then the person that I mail it to is kind of a solo item. When I get a card, it's great and I put it up on the mantle and I save it and then I do save my cards, but honestly, it's kind of a short term thing, right? When I do this, and I put it in a book and we sit down and we play with it, we are just gonna love this forever. It, it's not gonna go away in a short amount of time. I have to decide if I want you guys like that. Yeah, because I, I, I want you to kind of, I want your eye to, to travel when you're looking at these layouts. I don't want you to just get stuck, which is why a two page layout needs to travel over to the other page right? How simple is this? I know it's a dumb word. It's really overused in my world. But right? This paper is so dynamic. You don't really need a ton of stuff on it. But now you definitely could. So now what if I decided that I really like the ribbon and the bow and all of that? What if I wanted to add ribbons and bows to this, which is kind of silly with our, our tough soccer girls. But you know what? They are girls. We could add bows to these really easy. There. We can add lots more embellishments. Okay, now we're ready to put this down. Um, if you wanted to add the bows, you're gonna do it before you attach the simple to the page. And you're gonna do the same idea. I don't really see one that they'd go well with, but just so that you know. Um, this is that seam binding. It feels like there's tons on here. It says there's 10 yards. It just feels like there's so much. You're going to take your journaling pen. I love this journaling pen too. This is the Stampin' Up! journaling pen. You can, Wanda. It's on my page. Um, Shannon just posted the link for you, but yep, you still can. They're still there. So when you want to put a bow on a corner, the easiest way to do it is wrap it around, and this is a technique we've used for cards too. The one thing I will say about this is, um, oh, thanks Shannon. Shannon is my Vanna tonight. Um, this stuff seems to have a lot of electri static electricity to it. And maybe it's just here that I'm doing it. I don't know if anybody else has tried this ribbon yet. It's really thin. So you tie a double knot on your around your pen. You slide it off. I know. Shannon gets a day off and I put her to work. And now you've got this loop in the middle. Okay. So let's say I want to put this on sassy pants down here. And I'm going to put it right there. All right. The bow just going across the the um the photo. So I'm going to flip this over, hold it where I want it, flip it over. All right, can you see there's the ribbons coming out either side? I'm going to, this ribbon is really thin, so your snail will hold it. If it wasn't, I would use tape and then just flip that back, flip this back. And then trim off your excess. All right, now we're good. And now we're gonna flip this baby over. And there is my bow right here. And then I'm just gonna take my snips and cut, because it doesn't look like a bow. Now it's a bow, cute little bow right there, right? Okay, so now I like that, and I'm good with it. I'm gonna flip these guys over, add snail to the back. This is something else I will tell you. I use way less snail than if I were doing this um, not using a simple, because the mats would have to be really well attached to the, to the photo, and then really well attached, but because I'm putting it down it doesn't have to be, just a little bit on each one is enough. All right, so there's that one. 
I need to glue you down. Just a little dab in the corner is enough because it's going to go in a um, in a thingy. What are those thingies? A page protector. Now I want to make sure before I put you down that we're even here. We're pretty good. Okay. And now I'm ready to pop these guys in and I'm going to use some dimensionals on them. Now there is so much more I could do to this layout if I wanted. But seriously, a two page layout with six photos and we are 20 minutes in. Yes, I did the cutting before you came and I did the embellishment. So maybe an hour, maybe if that long. And I'm going to put this right at the edge because I want these two pages to flow. I want that to go across. That looks super crooked. And now I did not journal on this yet, but I have lots of spaces to pop in a journal and I'm going to pop in, I'm going to use the same stitched circle to journal on so that it kind of ties it all together. I'm not going to use the same size, but I'm going to use the same circle. Now I line these guys up, line you up. Now they're not going to touch like that because when you put them in the album, there's there's the spine of the album right here, but they're clearly going together. Now, if I wanted a matchy matchy, which you know that's usually me, um, I have that. I could have used that other one. Uh, I don't know what I did with it. I could have used this one if I wanted it to matchy match. Okay. So now let's play with this one a little now that I have it down. Um, let me see if I can get this off. If not, I'll just cut another one, but I think I can. I want to show you what I meant about the stamps there. This really hasn't been here that long. It was just before you got here. Okay, clearly you would do this first. All right, so those splotches I was talking about, they're really kind of cool. And we have two different size splotches. And honestly, you would do this before at first, but you know me, I'll do it last just to make life exciting. And I just need a little stamp, a little glass block for that one. And a medium one for this one. Now I'm not gonna bring in any new colors I'm going to use Poppy Parade, but I might stamp it more than once when I put it down. Now, because my counter is not smooth and I've already stuck this down, I'm going to go like that and I'm going to grab my Poppy Parade. My favorite thing, another favorite thing, I was going to say that and I realize I've already said favorite three times tonight, about Stampin' Up! And the reason I, I became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is everything matches. These are splotches. And it kind of looks like I paint speckled on them, right? And then I'm going to take the bigger one. And I'm actually going off onto the designer series paper, but it doesn't matter because they've got that already built in. See it? Okay, just a splotch or two, which looks kind of weird right now. But when I pop this back in, 
it makes my embellishment all the more cool and it really ties it into my paper right so there is our layout two pages tonight ready to go I don't know which one do you like do you like that title better or that title better which one do you like better Susan's gonna guess for me and tell me which one I like better this one <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, thanks for coming. Be sure you go into the classroom to download your free simple for tonight. It's this one. It's the two pages. And if and I will also up I'll put in the um, soccer title. Oh, one of the things I wanted to show you though, quick before I go. Here, I said it. Um, one of the things that we'll talk about in the upcoming class. You like the first one? Okay, good. Because I kind of like that one better. I don't like the way that one's stamped out, so that's why I like that one. Um, first one? Okay, good. Phew. What do you think about this? Can you see that? That is the designer series paper filling my title ready to cut. Wait, what? Yep. And we'll do that during our soccer or our soccer class, our um, our cricket class when we have more time. But let me get it down here so you can see it. That is the same title. It has this designer series paper in it. It's too big. It has this designer series paper in the letters, so that you could really coordinate it if you if you are the matchy matchy girl. That's an option. Okay. Well, there we go. And I'll have to think about something wintry to do, but this paper just doesn't let me think winter at all. And I love it. Um, the other side is pretty cool, too. So this is the Poppy Parade Designer Series paper. I think that's its name. And there's two stamp sets that go with it. I had a really hard time deciding what to do for the embellishment because there's so many options. It It's the coolest thing. And once you bring it in, then you remember why it really does add a lot. It seems like, oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of work. It's really not. You just have to be thinking outside the box a little bit. All right, everybody, have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow night. We are making a card, though. No simples tomorrow night. I'm getting a little crazy trying to do both in one. So tomorrow night will be just cards. It's a fun card, too. You'll like it. I'll see you soon. Bye.